This is the all new Cache OS and long time Linux users are switching to it in droves for one big reason, speed. Cache OS is an arch based project that's laser focused on peak performance. This is so hyper performant that people are actually pulling its kernel and installing it on other distros like Fedora. And they've just released a massive update that's packed with killer features. We are getting AMD's anti-lag 2 before anyone else, a one-line command to automatically upgrade your games to FSR 4 and a kernel so responsive it makes everything feel impossibly fluid. I've been playing around with Cache OS for some time now and this is Linux taken to the next level. And in this video, we are unpacking how exactly Cache OS brings this upgraded experience. This is the full breakdown, let's jump right in. Alright, let's start off with an absolute banger. First up, AMD Antilag 2 arrives with a July update via Mesa Git, bringing AMD's answer to NVIDIA Reflex. By leveraging the VK AMD Antilag Vulkan extension, this tech dramatically reduces input latency in games, and this gives you a solid competitive advantage in multiplayer games. Now this technology is not available in any other Linux distro at the moment, so you have an edge at Counter-Strike. Next. Proton Cache OS package here introduces FSR 4 override, a one line upgrade for a major visual upgrade. Just set Proton FSR upgrade 1 and Proton will auto swap FSR 3.1 files with AMD's latest FSR 4 libraries. Now doing this manually is an absolute nightmare and in many cases impossible as well because this overriding can be applied to older games that only support FSR 3.1 as well. With this tech, you can set a lower rendering resolution for games and it will automatically be upscaled to your display resolution and you are going to get a massive performance boost in gaming. In some situations, people have noticed up to 3 times performance gains on 4K displays. That's just massive. Seriously, check this out. Then, Wine, Wayland patches and anti-cheat improvements significantly improve the game compatibility here. The updated Proton layer integrates post-wine 10.0 Wayland enhancements and anti-cheat fixes, reducing stutter, improving input response, and making multiplayer gaming smoother than ever. And now, you'll not have to switch to X11 for gaming. Of course, your mileage may vary here. Cache OS doesn't use the vanilla kernel like other Linux distros. Instead, it ships its own kernel that is heavily optimized, patched, and fine-tuned from the ground up for responsiveness, gaming, and modern desktop workloads. Cache OS compiles its kernel using CLang instead of the standard GCC. Now CLang enables advanced optimizations like link time optimization and auto FBO and this produces kernel binaries that are smaller, faster and better optimized for modern CPUs. The kernel or any piece of software is just way leaner and meaner when compiled with CLang. Then, the default Linux kernel uses a 250Hz or 300Hz stick rate, meaning the kernel checks for events about 250 times per second. Cache OS ramps it up significantly to 1000 Hz. This dramatically reduces input lag and the desktop responsiveness, especially on gaming and multitasking, feels out of this world. Cache OS also comes with the Bose scheduler turned on by default, and this prioritizes interactive responsiveness and it gives that fluid feel to the desktop. But if you want, you can even use BMQ and EEVDF advanced options here. Just using the Bo scheduler is shown to provide almost 10% FPS gains in some games, so free upgrade here. Cache OS custom kernel, it's so good, people are actually pulling it from Cache OS and installing it on other distros like Fedora just to get that boost in smoothness. That's how you know it's the real deal. Cache OS comes with a kernel manager app that lets you switch schedulers, play around with different kernels and experiment and find out which one's the best for your workloads. It maintains its own repository of optimized and pre-compiled kernels which you can install using this kernel manager. You don't need to compile anything. We get a long list of options for different purposes here. You get Linux Cache OS hardened for more security, LTS for stability, real-time kernel, all built on Cache OS kernel as the base. The kernel is the engine of your operating system and Cache OS pays a lot of attention to it. And it also lets you tune things up to suit to your computing needs. Cache OS takes optimization even further with micro architecture specific repositories. These repos are compiled for specific instruction sets like x86 64 v3 and even x86 64 v4 and AMD Zen 4. When you install Cache OS, it automatically detects your CPU and selects the right repository so your system runs software that's literally built for your hardware. This means faster compiles, better throughput in CPU heavy tasks, and measurable gains in real workloads like code compilation and compression. 
It's like overclocking without touching the BIOS. Pure performance delivered by smarter binaries. Cache OS downloads and installs packages that are most optimized for your CPU. And there are no trade-offs actually. It's not just about the instruction sets either. Cache OS also compiles its packages with advanced techniques like link time optimization, profile guided optimization and bolt. These techniques are designed to squeeze every last drop of performance out of your CPU by making the code smarter and more efficient. This level of tuning, it's rare among Linux distros and it sets Cache OS apart as a distribution completely obsessed with speed. Alright, Cache OS has fantastic features and all and it's all cool, but does this tuning leading edge tech, does it actually make a difference in the real world? The answer is a big yes. It's not just me, pretty much everybody who uses Cache OS knows that it's definitely more snappy and more responsive. It boots up fast, it feels so fluid when you are interacting with the system. Application launching, app switching, it's all so smooth here. But gaming is where we see the real difference between Cache OS and something like Ubuntu. You will easily see FPS gains, that is performance gains that you can measure. It can easily be from 5 to 40 FPS increase depending on the game and your hardware. That's not a small difference, that's the difference between playable and unplayable on some titles. And if you properly utilize the features that we are getting here, use AMD FSR 4, play around with it and set the proper sweet spot for it, that's going to make a huge difference. Cache OS gives you a performance boost from multiple fronts. The custom kernel is great, the scheduler, optimized software repositories, the latest patches. There's a lot of effort here that's going to Cache OS and it easily shows. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. Okay, let's talk about the absolute future of Linux desktop, Wayland. Cache OS is going all in by making KDE Plasma 6.4 a Wayland first experience. So you can expect better latency, smoother animations and all those Wayland advantages. Now before all you NVIDIA users start sweating, this is where Cache OS shows how smart it is. Wayland and NVIDIA is not the best combination, although this has improved significantly now, so much so that you rarely hear any complaints, but still not the greatest relationship. Cache OS fixes this. Their hardware detection utility automatically checks if you are using legacy NVIDIA drivers. If you are, it automatically installs the X11 session for you. No extra commands, no manual configuration file editing, no headaches. Honestly, this is a super smart way of handling this thing. Cache OS pushes all this cool tech without messing things up for a huge chunk of the community. As someone who has first hand faced issues because of unavailability of X11, that's how you do an update right. Cache OS gives you insane power under the hood as we have already seen. But the developers also know that gamers just want to click play and just start playing. They know that setting up gaming needs to be simple and accessible in a gaming focused distro. When you first boot up, you are greeted by the Cache OS Hello app. This isn't just a welcome screen, it's your mission control for post install setup. It has a big friendly install gaming packages button. One click and it pulls down everything you need. Steam, Lutris, Heroic Games Launcher, Mango Hut for your performance overlay and game mode to make sure your system prioritizes your game. What more do you need? Ok, let me give you a secret hidden tweak on Cache OS. You can use the Game Performance Launch option to instantly switch your system to high performance profile automatically when the game is run. It just tells the system to ramp up the performance to max when gaming. Ok, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Cache OS is the true Archmage simple distro. This is also the Archmage powerful distro. This is an absolute killer. This is just so easy to recommend. Now Cache OS isn't just for desktops. They are making a huge play for the handheld gaming market and the latest July update proves they are serious about it. In addition to the wildly popular Steam Deck, they now have official support for Lenovo Legion Go, including the newer S model. This is massive because it positions Cache OS as a top tier alternative to Windows or Bazite on one of the most popular handhelds out there. But it's the little details that make it shine. For all Steam Deck OLED owners out there, they are now including the Galileo Mura package, which is a specific fix to address the newer display characteristics and make that gorgeous OLED panel look even better. Cache OS provides different ISO files for these handheld devices and with these focused refinements, it transforms portable gaming on Linux into a powerful experience. 
Cache OS gives you the Calamaris installer, but it's not a generic Calamaris installer. It's a turbocharged installer with some really smart features. Okay, so we already know the installer is pretty clever. It handles Wayland automatically, installs X7 if needed, and picks the best repositories for your CPU microarchitecture, automatically installs the necessary drivers. Yeah, it's pretty good. But there's more. The July update finally added a shell picker. This was a huge community request. While the default fish shell is awesome and packed with features, you can now easily choose a Z shell config or standard bash if that's what you are used to. You need not mess with this after installation. And for laptop users, Cache OS includes pre-tuned power saving profiles right out of the box. Running a bleeding edge distro, even a user friendly one like Cache OS can feel like walking a tightrope, so Cache OS gives you a whole set of safety nets. First up, you get Snapper plus BTRFS for rollback. This is the ultimate undo button. If an update breaks something, you can literally reboot into a previous snapshot of your system from the grub bootloader menu. And something like this is definitely needed for Arch-based distros. For advanced users, there's the Cache chroot helper. If your system won't boot, this script makes it super simple to get into a recovery environment and fix things, even with encrypted drives. The thing about chrooting is, the actual repair command itself will be simple 90% of the time. It's chrooting into the system that takes a lot of time. That's taken care of here. By the way, Cache OS doesn't install the system OOMD as they don't want it running around killing apps. They also ship pre-compiled kernel modules for things like Nvidia and ZFS. This means you are far less likely to have a driver break after a kernel update, which is one of the most common headaches of a rolling distro. Cache OS, it provides a set of powerful recovery tools. At the same time, it also takes smart preventive measures to make it a surprisingly safe distro that lives on the bleeding edge. Alright, once you've got Cache OS installed, the Cache OS Hello app pops up and this thing is your best friend. It's not just a welcome screen, it's your command center for getting everything set up perfectly. We have already touched on the one-click install gaming packages button, which is awesome. But this app goes way deeper. Jump into the apps tweak section and you find some real power user stuff made super easy. You can enable profile sync daemon with a click which moves your browser profiles into RAM for lightning fast browsing. You can turn on BPF tune for automatic system tuning and if your bluetooth isn't working, there's literally a button here to fix it. Then there's the fixes tab. This is your system maintenance toolkit. Need to speed up your package downloads or updates, click rack mirrors. System feeling a bit cluttered, clear package cache and remove often packages will clean things right up. You can even change your DNS servers from here. It takes all those common arch maintenance commands and puts them behind simple friendly buttons. Cache OS Hello is a superbly executed welcome app. So what does this all add up to? Cache OS is basically the ultimate arch but better experience. Look, we all love Arch Linux for its power, its massive software repositories and the AUR. But to be honest, setting up vanilla Arch and tuning it for performance can take hours if not days and maintaining it is a different story. Cache OS does all the heavy lifting for you. It hands you a pre-tuned, hyper-optimized system right out of the box. It doesn't get better than this. If hyper-performance is your biggest priority, Cache OS is just the right thing for you. And this isn't just about convenience. This is not just an Arch installer. The final piece of the puzzle is the developers themselves. They are incredibly active and they actually listen. When the community said system OAMD was killing apps, they removed it. When everyone asked for a shell picker in the installer, they added it. This isn't just a distro, it's a community project that's constantly evolving based on real user feedback. Arch is just the base here. Cache OS is growing into something more phenomenal. Alright, there you have it guys. Cache OS is an absolute performance beast and it's clear why it's getting so much attention. For me, the real-world snappiness you get from that custom kernel and the optimized repositories is a total game-changer. It's the ultimate high-performance distro, especially for gamers and anyone who loves to tinker. But this is a bleeding-edge distro, and while it has great safety nets, you need to be comfortable with the occasional troubleshooting. So yeah, not for everybody. So what do you think? Are you going to give Cache OS a try? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you are interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 5 hottest lightweight Linux distros for hyper performance in 2025. It's got some really cool ones, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out.